going to demonstrate how to use a reed mandrel. Now sometimes reed mouths can close out either by being over squeezed or by left alone. Uh, various factors can cause this to happen. Maybe they just got old and they just need a little bit of a revive with a with the mandrel. So if a reed mouth is too closed, it can be very shrill, high pitched, especially on the top hand, and liable to squeal. But uh, we can fix this by using a mandrel. Now this is a one of my G3 reeds, which is a molded reed, it's been heavily squeezed, the mouth blades are too close together, and this is, this is what it sounds like. Really, not very nice to listen to, very high pitched, very shrill. So we take our mandrel, insert it in the reed, and give it a little twist. Now this will open the blades, slightly. We don't need to do too much, we can always do a little bit more later on. Put it back in the chanter, retest it. Now that really was useless before we used this and now it sounds very nice indeed. It's nicely balanced, it's got a nice top hand and it's slightly stronger to play and a bigger sound. Now this is the same thing, this is one of my new um, G4 band reeds, which is a ridge cut reed. I'm going to demonstrate what this one sounds like. Just pretty, pretty dreadful. So once again, take the mandrel, nip the mouth open, put it back in the chanter. A dramatic difference. Much, much better. Now in a band scenario, this tool is essential. Now if you go around the band and you find that one reed or one piper's chanter is very high pitched and it's needing a lot of tape and it's tending to squeal and it's not tuning in with everybody else, take the reed out, use the mandrel, nip the reed open and it'll bring it back into line with everybody else. It's make it a bit fuller sounding, it'll make it lower pitched and it'll stop the squealing.